Welcome to the day number four and today we're going to talk about the Instagram strategy. I want you to take your notebook, a piece of paper, better notebook that you keep all this information in one place and a pen of course and we're going to brainstorm about the strategy that we later going to complement with other things that we're going to learn during other dates in the sprint. But the most really really important thing that you need to write down and identify today is the objective. What is your main objective of this current Instagram account? The objective can be really, really different. Some of these is first, growing the community. Second, social selling. That means selling products or services directly on Instagram. Third, acquiring new clients providing services. Maybe you want to use Instagram profile as a showcase of your portfolio. Let's say you're a graphic designer and you want to get new clients. So that would be your goal number one, acquiring new clients and use Instagram profile as a showcase of uh, your portfolio. Maybe you just want to use Instagram profile to increase brand awareness or your Instagram account is going to be purely based on user generated content. So in this tab, identifying your objective will help you later on to understand which are the key uh, metrics you need to measure, you need to check uh, from time to time in order to understand how your account is uh, performing. Uh, we will talk about this in one of our last days about the key performance indicators, KPIs, in other words, because KPIs are really crucial to see whether you're su succeeding, whether you're aiming for your goals or you need to change something in order to be able to succeed the goals. All of these objectives can be mixed. So let's say uh, you want to increase brand awareness of your brand and you want to also grow community uh, around a specific topic in which your business is specialized. That can be also possible. Or you want to do social selling as well as using Instagram account for user-generating content. That's absolutely also possible. And the objective on Instagram profile should be of course related to your number one goal uh, of your business. That's the first thing in making the strategy for Instagram profile. The second thing we already did in the previous video, defining your target audience. Uh, that step is already done. The third step here is competitor analysis. You probably already know some of the competitors within your niche or if you don't, please dedicate some time to make a research about your competitors. Now I also want you to do freestyle. Do not fill up those long spreadsheets that uh, Google is offering you. Just really do it for yourself, for the needs of your Instagram account and the current goals and objectives. So just find the accounts that are within your niche and that are performing much better than you are. Go and check their posts. Try to choose the best performing posts. The best performing posts are usually those posts that receive the most likes and the most engagements. That's what you can see on Instagram. Uh, if you don't see the likes, because for some countries likes are already hidden, you can still judge according to the comments that this post has received. So choose the best performing post and try to analyze why this post get that much engagement. Read the copy, uh, check the type of the image that was posted, whether it's image or video or carousel posts or even IGTV or reel. Also do not forget to go into stories and see what your competitors are doing in stories as well. Write some of the really cool ideas that you got, some of the ideas that you got from the post that you can later on implement for your Instagram profile. I'm not telling here to do a, a huge research and analyze 100 profiles, but just do uh, as many as you wish in order to start understanding in which direction you need to move in order to create the right content for your audience and to understand what type of content your audience might like. All of these questions you need to answer while you're doing this research of your competitors on Instagram. This is the first steps of creating strategy of uh, your Instagram profile. Of course, there are going to be more uh, steps that we are going to discuss in the next parts, and we will actually start to creating some cool things. And in the next video, we are going to talk about the avatar, the profile image that people pay attention the first when they uh, discover your page.
all are the steps that we I'm going to talk here in the sprint Instagram growth sprint are including of course in the Instagram overall strategy but I would not hurry up the things and first I want to do hands-on how the things are working and then later on you will start to understand which things are working the best for you and in which things you will need to focus the most based on the competitor research and based on your objectives and what your target audience wants to see you will already know on which part that I'm going to be covering here in the sprint you need to focus the most uh, just let me give you an example let's say uh, you are let's say you're a math teacher and you want to get more students to teach online let's say it like this so uh, you will probably find the carousel posts are the most effective ones uh, for your audience or maybe you find among your competitors that video performs the best so maybe then you will need to focus more on the videos maybe you'll find that among your competitors that your audience that is following your competitor is really really like a tool i don't know play quizzes that's going to be your idea for instagram stories so I think you got what I mean under researching your competitors and setting the objectives and defining your target audience to be able later on to provide the content that your audience wants to see on Instagram. And I'm going to see you tomorrow and tomorrow we'll start right with optimization of your Instagram page.